It has been truly horrific to learn in court the full extent of the pain and suffering that Jordan went through and also to, to discover that Stephen had another son who he and the family knew nothing about. As a family we fear we have been denied any knowledge of that baby boy's existence. We've also been denied the quality, of, quality time we should have had with Jordan if those responsible for his death had got the medical care he needed. We feel betrayed by the people we trusted to care for Jordan. Stephen and the family will always remember Jordan having a bubbly and chatty personality. We have had two years of hell coming to terms with Jordan's death and we would like to thank the police and everyone involved who has helped to support us through this dreadful time. We now want to be left to grieve in peace and to lay Jordan and the baby to rest with the dignity and love they deserve. Um, Jordan Berlin died a few days before his 19th birthday. His death was an absolute tragedy given the circumstances in which it occurred and the fact that it could so easily have been avoided. Today we have seen his mum and grandma sentenced to his manslaughter and his sister sentenced to allowing or causing the death of a vulnerable adult. Jordan was left to just waste away when they should have sought medical advice and medical attention was so clearly needed. I hope this case sends a message out to all those who've got care and responsibility that the law will take action if you breach that duty of care. Our thoughts are with Jordan's father and wider family and I hope they can seek some comfort in the sentence that's been given at court today. Thank you. Although today's verdict can in no way compensate for the loss of Jordan's life and the tragic abuse and neglect he suffered in the months leading up to his death, it is right that the individuals responsible for causing his distress and eventful death have been brought to justice. The details which have been emerging in court over the past few weeks of the suffering caused to Jordan by his mother and grandmother and allowed to happen by his sister have made for a very difficult hearing and it is right that those responsible for this crime have been held accountable. When we became aware of Jordan's shocking death we commissioned a full independent joint review which is currently underway to identify and examine any lessons that need to be learned to try and ensure this cannot happen again in the future. We will therefore not be able to comment further until we have the outcome of that review. Thank you. This was a tragic case in the truest sense of the word, a word that's often overused. And I think there was an extremely thorough investigation in this case, as the judge has commented in his commendation. And I'm satisfied that the case was professionally and properly brought and well prepared and that there was a fair exposition of all the facts in this case. However, the prosecution take no pleasure in this verdict and the sentences handed down today. But there is some satisfaction. Satisfaction in that there's some justice finally for Jordan and for his family and in particular his father, whose pain and distress was all too clear from the statement that was read to the court today. And I'm hoping that he can get some closure from what's now happened. Thank you.